Well, folks, we've got a couple of successful AM hunts here from the Ponderosa. Miss Jean said that she did not want any big, nasty, rutting buck to go into the stew pot and the freezer. She put in an order for some either some younger deer or a big fat doe. And so Captain Buster had a successful hunt and so did Miss Sherry. So we're going to put those two together for y'all right here. Captain Buster up above a round tree outdoors. <clears throat> that looks like a, about a five or a six point. I didn't move to get the camera right, but I think the camera was right. But uh, I'm going to wait a little bit and see if those don't come out. My, my, that's what my wife wants. She wants to do it too. So uh, I'm going to sit for a few more minutes and if I don't see anything, I'll go skin that one out and we'll be happy we got that one. But praise the Lord. They've been coming on the camera. They've been coming in uh, right about good shooting light. So I said, well, I'm going to give it a try. And I'm about over this mess. I'm starting to feel better. So anyway, I'm going to give it a few more minutes. And if I don't see anything, I'm going to go get him and drag him with my golf cart and uh, skin him out. I was real excited, like I just said, let's hope we find him. I don't think he went far. I think I heard him crash, but fingers crossed. All right, <coughs> let's go down here. Drag that sucker out.
the old timey way of putting on truck the batteries, dragging these two deer. I ain't got my battery charger yet, but I got a bunch of small ones in there. I have to charge them with that, but this is the old timey way. Some of you that's been watching me for years have seen me load many of them like this, and it still works. Well, there's some more right here. There was hair there, there's some blood there. Hair there and there, I think I saw the first bit of hair right there around where her foot was at somewhere. Yeah, yeah right see it right there? Yeah. Right there and right there. And we got blood here, more hair here. Oh, that's good blood too, actually. If you can see blood with buckshot, you done done something. Yeah, last time I saw him, he jumped toward the left. I mean, I saw him come to this bottom, but then he veered to the left. Here's some tore up. Uh, here's some more blood right here, and some tore up ground. I said, here's some more blood and tore up ground. Here he is. Yep. Walk to your left. He's laying on the creek. Right. Yep. Try and find an easy way out. a nice little buck. Oh yeah. I'm going to let him tag it and then pull it across the creek before I don't want to get my feet wet. Man, if you hadn't wore your boots, you'd be getting your feet wet right now because I wouldn't be. Trouble, Mama? <laughs> Haven't trouble balancing yet. I'm glad all this is filmed. <laughs> Thank God for signs. Cut to the left a little bit. It's gonna be your easiest route. Yeah, cut to the left a little bit. Thank you, Lord. What a blessing. We appreciate you folks riding along with us today. Y'all stay tuned, a lot more coming. We, uh, we're working on the dog hunts here. Not every dog hunt is a blockbuster. Uh, sometimes they just don't work out well and the cameras are not really in front of the deer or the dogs. It just works out that way sometimes. The season is more than halfway over here. So it gets that way on the small tracts of land that we hunt. Sometimes you catch them in there. Sometimes it's rare, but sometimes you just don't catch them in there at all. Like I said, thanks for joining us, folks. Y'all get by the merch page and pick you up some merch here before Christmas. And as always, we love you guys a lot. We'll see y'all on the next one.